guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Fenya but you could call me Fen and today I'm going to be talking about hygiene products yeah yeah without further ado without further without what the heck I can't speak okay so without further ado without further or do um i'm just gonna start the video so we're gonna start with the basics colgate i'm not gonna cap with you the colgate optic white um stain fighter this is actually really good if you have yellow teeth and you want to start getting white teeth like see mine's is white but it's not it's not white white but like this can get you there it can it can okay i don't know the next thing i'm gonna talk about is this bad boy yeah so this thing has been all over youtube and i was kind of like why is everyone getting this but in reality it's actually really really good it doesn't feel like your traditional mouthwash like it doesn't have like that burning sensation or that stinging sensation it tastes like watery mint and i got the flavor sparkle mint i actually think there's stronger versions of this i know like they have like a teal looking bottle and a blue bottle but i got the pink one and this one is a little bit more like less harsh and there's no alcohol no artificial flavors or colors and i heard a lot of people rave about this so i actually really do like this i think the hype is real it's good it's good. then i am going to go into body i'm gonna go into body care so for body i use dr bronner's baby senses i recently picked this back up because i used to use the peppermint one and the peppermint one is really good but like i don't know after a while i just got tired of it i like to switch up like my products or whatever and i just felt like that one was in it didn't hit no more like i probably was using it for like a couple a couple months like a good couple months and i was just like I don't think I really want this no more. So I stopped using Dr. Brunner's all together because I don't like their lavender one. And I, I didn't want to risk the risk trying the other ones. So I got the sample of this and then I tried it, buzz. And so now I got this one. And I use this on my poom poom and my boom boom. Sometimes I use it all over my body and then I go in with another body wash. But for the most part, I just used it on like those areas. This right here is me and her go way back when this first came out i tried it because i'm one of those people i see something it looks nice it smells good oh, it smells so good like i'm not even i'm not even frank with y'all i'm not even gonna cap with y'all this right here boy this smells dumb good and you see it's thick like shea butter mm. this one is meant to moisturize this is the love beauty and planet and the um scent Meru Murumo butter and rose and it's just good like it's moisturizing like i'm a type of person when i'm chilling at home i don't like putting on lotion i know i know as a woman that's that's the first thing i'm supposed to do right no i don't put on i, I don't put on lotion when i'm at home this i don't need lotion if you're scrubbing your body every day, you're exfoliating, you're making sure your skin is clean, you put this on, you don't need no lotion. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but I will say your skin will feel... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will say your skin will feel moisturized after using this. And that's the thing I really love about it. I have sensitive skin all around, so like I tend not to use like Dove. I don't. Sometimes I use other things like Olay but for the most part I don't use any of those things because as a child they used to break me out but this right here and I, I want to tap into Dove again because I see they coming out with better quality products so we're we gonna test it out when you come out the shower and especially late at night when you're taking a shower and you smell like this that's it and they had a body oil like a, a shower or a bath oil with low lather that thing made you smell but i don't think they have anymore i think they discontinued it but this right here smells good so if you're a person you have oily skin or you really don't care for stuff that's moisturizing you might want to go with this one this is the coconut water and mimosa flower this one i like it but this one smells great but if you're not and i'm not gonna lie it's strong though so if you're not when you're in the shower, 
it's not that bad but if you're sensitive to, to like fruity or like sweet smells then i probably wouldn't suggest this this one's more like on the the clean freshness side even though it says coconut i mean i smell the coconut but it gives me more of a fresh vibe it says mimosa flower and it definitely smells like a flower it's really good as well and i didn't say it but these products are all natural PETA approved because you know when PETA get involved it gets real so okay so this is also a wash that i've used this is actually really good it gives me the vibes of this these two I, I treat these two the same i use them for my boom boom and my boom boom and that's pretty much it i do use this for a full body i would use this for a full body scrub then go back in with this or i would use it with a full body and then go back in with something like scented or like more like nice but like this one's actually not bad this is the arm and hammer essentials body wash and it is scented it's simply fresh but the scent is so minuscule i still use it down there so that's why okay okay moving on to deodorant this right here this is the love and beauty planet deodorant and as you can see yeah they have like line type stuff so you can definitely get the matching set it don't smell as good as the body washes but i will say this do get the job done i really like this better than yeah i like this better than i like the um this <laughs> So the difference, I'm going to show you guys the difference. And these are aluminum-free deodorants. And I'm going to tell y'all a little bit like about aluminum-free deodorants because I know people have problems with them. So as you can see, this one is more like a thicker white. It has that white look. And then this one has more of a gel look. Yeah. So this one is um, Arm & Hammer's Essentials with Natural Deodorizers. And it's aluminum-free. And this is the scent Rosemary Lavender. In terms of which one smell better, I mean, this one probably smelled just a little bit better, but not that much. They they both smell pretty like basic. Um, this one definitely smells like lavender or some type of herbal scent to it. But for the most part, I would say I've been using this for the past year. I've used this one. They have a coconut scented one, and they have another scent. I've been using this is kind of what introduced me to aluminum free deodorants because I was already looking into it, and then my mom, who coupons, ended up buying this. So I was like, hmm, okay, okay, let me try, let me try it out, let me let me see what it's working with, and I actually really like it. So fun fact: if you're gonna switch from regular deodorant to aluminum free deodorant you need to detox your arms and you need to scrub under your arms with lime for a couple days. You can you can use the lime and the aluminum free deodorant or you could just use the lime by itself for the next couple days. Maybe use some baby wipes if you go to work or school so that way you're not musky in class or musky at work. But for the most part, that's all you have to do and then you can make a smooth transition from regular deodorant to aluminum free if you still smell after the lime you're probably it could be a problem with the way you're washing your armpits in the shower or what you're washing your armpits with regardless of that whole transition period this worked for me for the past year and every six months i use the lime trick to detox my arms and i just switched to this and i like this way better than like this just because of how this one looks pretty much it and this okay so this is the sample size for native cucumber and mint native is also a more natural brand i i don't like this like i don't like it i don't know if it's because it's a sample size that maybe it triggered triggered me not to like it but like i don't i don't like it it just didn't give what it was supposed to give and this is 11 this is an 11 dollar deodorant Oh, this is like two something or three something where I'm at in um, Florida. And then this is like $6.99. But I do think this is going to last longer than this, but I'm not sure. This is $11. This is a luxury expensive. It's not luxury, but it's expensive. It's expensive. And this 
it didn't even do what it was supposed to get and that's why i i thank target for um having them little sample sizes because i was about to waste my money on this and that's the thing about buying like mostly natural products because it's like or like mostly like non-chemical non blah 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 products because you be spending eleven dollars on a deodorant and it don't even work. And I this this little thing was like I think this little thing was like three dollars and I didn't even finish it because I didn't even like it that bad. That's how bad I didn't like it. All right, moving on to moisturizers. There's only two moisturizers I use. Either I'm using shea butter. So I either I take the shea butter in my hand, I warm it up in my hands, I put some hemp oil on it, and then I put it on my body, or Vaseline. <laughs> well, not Vaseline, but you know what I'm trying to say. But, uh, Vaseline's intensive care soothing hydrating um, lotion. One. It has like a little aloe smell to it. Nothing too fancy or crazy. Also, another honorable mention. I don't have it right now, but the Jergens, any Jergens lotion at all. Um, you can get the cherry blossom or the original scented. I really like all of them for the most part. And that's pretty much it for lotion. I really not too picky. Oh, actually I am. I am picky. Also, I like Nivea. Nivea lotions are really good. They smell really fresh. I don't like I like lotion that feels fresh. Like I wanna finish putting on my lotion. I don't wanna feel like something sticky or heavy on my skin. Like I like very smooth, soft lotions. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is skincare. Although I do not have clear skin, I do think these things help my skin. So I have dry to sensitive skin. And the first thing I did to kind of like reset my face was use the simple kind to skin moisturizing facial wash. So when I started using this, my skin was like peeling like once a month. It was burning. I would put aloe on my face, burn. I'll put shea butter on my face, burn. I put the most natural of now. I put dirt on my face, burn. Like everything was burning my face. So I realized that whatever I was using, something was messing with my face. So I just stopped everything. And I was like, but I need something to wash. I can't just go without washing my face. So I went to the store and like this was one of the, I'm not gonna say the cheapest, but one of the cheapest options that had no hyaluronic acid the salicylic acid i didn't have to figure that out all i had to do was just wash my face that's it and that's what this did just wash my face this is like the second bottle and it's already done but i really love this it's no artificial fragrance no harsh chemicals no alcohols no minerals no soap quote unquote like detergent um, no parabens and it's vegan and cruelty free it does have vitamin um b5 in it so that was really good but other than that like it did what it needed to do and that was cleanse my face and hydrate it's not that hydrating because it doesn't have all those extra stuff in it but it did what it needed to do and i also used the rice i think it was a rice exfoliating thing because like i said my skin was dry and it was peeling actually fun fact you're not supposed to exfoliate your face when it's dry you're just supposed to moisturize but i was exfoliating because i'm not walking around here with like flaky skin and like I always look crappy and ever since I started using this, no more flakes, no more problems with my skin in terms of irritation from products because I use this. Now I have advanced. I am a new woman. Now I use the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Now I was skeptical about using this only because I tried Cetaphil and Cetaphil I was using Cetaphil in like high school and it actually turned out Cetaphil was burning my face. Yes, Cetaphil was burning my face. I was like, dang, dang. Cetaphil out here burning my face because I had like occasional bumps, but then like when I tried Cetaphil, my bumps would go away, but they would come back bigger and like in clumps and i know cerave doesn't work for some people so if you try cetaphil and cetaphil don't work for you try cerave and if cerave don't work for you maybe try cetaphil mm. but i do know because i have dry skin that 
I was looking for a hydrating cleanser and that's what I got. I know nothing about no acids and hyaluronic acid. All I did was just look for a hydrating cleanser. I kept seeing good things about CeraVe. I saw a mixed review. Actually, I saw a mixed review about CeraVe, but I just made the plunge and took the risk and I've been using it for probably like the past week and I would say my clogged pores are less. I still have cloud pores. It does not get away blemishes and hyperpigmentation, unfortunately. But as you can see, as you can see, my skin is clear. Um, I do think the basis of a good skincare routine only has a cleanser, a moisturizer, and sunscreen. And then you can start building everything else after. Don't like throw everything on your face because that's not good. And since we talk about the CeraVe cleanser, I'm gonna talk about the CeraVe cream. Yeah, this actually really works for me. Actually, my skin just feels totally different. I do notice there's still some things that my skin does have in terms of like hyperpigmentation and stuff like that and just clogged pores. But like it's actually gotten significantly better since I started using CeraVe products. So kudos to them. This is the Black Girl Sun. So black girl sunscreen, this is the SPF 30. Um it's good, but but it makes your face it look greasy. I ain't gonna get but you it look greasy, it look it looked like you put some sunscreen on your face. But I feel so much better about myself and I did notice a difference and and then for the last thing is makeup wipes so i use the simple makeup wipes also use the neutrogena makeup wipes those are good as well and all right that concludes the end of my video thank you this is a very simple um hygiene products i don't use anything too expensive everything should be under ten dollars um, and if it does go over $10, it's probably no more than $12. So I hope it's a really affordable, um, hygiene routine for, or hygiene products that you guys can try out. Let me know how these products work for you. Oh, and let me know if you have any products that you want me to try. Cause there's a bunch that I'm looking for. Um, um there's a bunch that I'm looking forward to trying. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this video y'all be watching and y'all be liking y'all be watching and y'all be liking and i don't understand oh. but i hope you blossom and bloom into the person that you want to be even though you don't be liking and subscribing i hope you blossom into the person you want to be i'm gonna still i'm gonna still wish the best for you Okay, bye. <laughs> if you want me, scream.